In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys how to rewrite polynomials so that they are in what we call standard form. So this is actually really simple. All you need to do is rewrite all the terms so that they're arranged in order from highest exponent to lowest exponent. So we're going to look at each of the three terms in this trinomial here and decide which term has the highest exponent. So we have an exponent of three, we have an exponent of invisible one, and we have an exponent of five. So the highest exponent on here is five. So we're just going to rewrite this in decreasing order of exponents. So beginning with my highest exponent first. So now when I go to move this term so that it's the first term, I have to make sure I take its coefficient with it and be careful that you take the sign before it as well. So because that said minus 7x to the fifth, when I move this to the front to be my leading coefficient, it's going to be negative 7x to the fifth. So I've taken care of that term. Now I still have the exponent of 3 and the exponent of invisible 1. So I said I'm going in decreasing order of exponents, which means that this term with the exponent of 3 will be next. That was a positive. There's no sign in front of it. So I'm going to write plus 9x to the third power. And then I only have one term left, and it is a positive 2x. And so I've rewritten this expression so that it's in standard form, which means that the exponents of the variables were going from greatest down to least. All right, one more example here. Again, we're looking to rewrite this so that it is from the highest exponent down to the lowest exponent. So let's identify our exponents first. We have 3, we have invisible 1, we have 9, and we have 0. So all constant terms have a degree of 0, right? Because there is no variable here. So if I wanted to kind of force one in here, I'd have to give it an exponent of 0. That way I don't change the value here. x to the 0 is 1, and 1 times negative 5 is still just negative 5. So I didn't change the value by adding that x there as long as I made the exponent 0. So once again, my exponents are 3, 1, 9, and 0, and I'm going in order from greatest to least. So x to the ninth is going to be my first term. So my leading coefficient is a 1. I can write it there. I don't have to. My next highest exponent is the 3, so it's going to go negative x to the third. My next highest exponent is 1, which is going to be plus 4x. And lastly, I have that constant term of minus 5. And so now this is rewritten in what we call standard form. And once it's in standard form, you can identify the leading coefficient. So here the leading coefficient is 1. Leading coefficient just being the first coefficient, the coefficient of the first term, only when it's in standard form, though, all right? And this polynomial has a degree of 9 because 9 is the highest exponent that I found here. All right, here's an example for you guys. Try to rewrite this polynomial so that it is written in standard form. The answer, don't peek, but it's in the description of the video. See if you get it right. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't and you can't find your mistake, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to help you figure it out.